Details on the new Supra successor engine, Lincoln dropping a continental bomb, and Mercedes, are they making a pickup truck? Plus, Audi's RS3 sedan heading to the US, we think, and Cadillac's CTS is hanging out until midnight. Also, we have Commenter of the Week, AK. Ooh. That's right, Moo indeed. Hope that you had a great weekend, everybody. I'm Derek T, and you're watching this. What is this, Erica? Fast Lane Daily. Thanks. Cadillac has a special edition CTS sedan dubbed Midnight, which is just a styling package, meaning no performance upgrades are included. Here's what you get. Black chrome grill, 18 inch dark wheels, and a suede steering wheel and shifter. Oh yeah, that says Midnight to me all day. I heard that. You get four color options. Cocoa bronze metallic, crystal white tri-coat, Phantom Gray Metallic, and Black Raven. These kind of sound like stripper names. <laughs> and to the stage, Black Raven, Black Raven. It's an extra 1,095 bucks for the package after midnight. We gonna let it all hang down. Ready, Kay? Yeah. <laughs> Is that Eric Clapton? Yeah. The Grateful Dead or something? Oh, it's Eric Clapton. It's definitely Eric Clapton, a song. Yeah. Lincoln pulling a surprise out of the bag. They're debuting the Continental Concept and it looks marvelous. Plus, it's already been approved for production, apparently, which is pretty cool. The last Continental Concept from 2002 looked great, but they never made it. But this one, this new one, will be luxurious and put Lincoln on par with the Germans. They're taking it up here, a luxury game. I'm sure McConnell Lincoln will be very happy about this. Okay, geez, those teeth though, right? Yeah. People like McConnell Lincoln. Oh yeah. They want to. They want him to be a recurring character, so uh, we'll probably see him again. Yeah. We'll see him again. Oof. The rumor mill. Gotta love that mill, right, Erica? Oh yeah. Gotta love it. It's churning today about the Audi RS3 sedan. Looks like we're going to get it here in the U.S. Score. Nice. So we won't have to be jealous about the rest of the world getting it when it comes here. It will be the same 2.5 liter five cylinder engine as the Euro Sportback version with 365 horsepower and 324 pound feet of what? Torque. That's right, Erica. She didn't want to say it in today's episode. Yeah, I wasn't it, going to. But it was there. That will be paired with a seven speed S Tronic transmission and Quattro all wheel drive. The performance should match the Sportback's 4.3 second sprint to 60 as well. No price yet, but it will definitely cost more than the S3 sedan's 41,000 bucks. And it may get a manual option. Oh, snap. Yeah. Drop the mic on that manual. <laughs> it may. It may not. Definitely not April. <laughs> so Mercedes is planning its first pickup truck model. Well, if you don't count the G63 AMG 6x6. They want to release it before the end of the decade. Great. Mercedes said it looks like a prime time to jump in with the first premium pickup in the segment. The Mercedes Vans division will develop the model initially for Latin America, South Africa, Australia, and European markets. Yes, the uh, good old US of A was not listed there. <laughs> eh, but do you care that much? You know, a Mercedes pickup? Right. But it would be interesting to see though. Oh yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we haven't heard about the upcoming Toyota Super successor in a while, so here's an opportune time for me to talk about it. Its current ETA is about two years away from now, and instead of using a hybrid setup like recent rumors, it will reportedly use a BMW sourced straight six engine. All right. Yeah. Meanwhile, the co developed BMW Z4 successor will get four and six cylinder options. Let's just hope those FT1 concept styles make it to production. Am I right? Let's hope. Let's hope. Yeah. That's all we can do. And let's hope that you guys know what time it is. Segway. That was a great segue. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Anyone know? Color of the week. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <Oof. sighs> Oh, 
comments. Thanks, AK. All right, this isn't our main comment for Cal, but I wanted to address this comment from FLD fan Kyle Dewey. He said, this is my favorite episode in a long time. You guys need more unrehearsed shows. Hashtag, we'll do it live. Just to clarify, Kyle, every FLD show is unrehearsed. <laughs> Except for when we do bits. You know, we have to go over them beforehand or something. But right. mainly, for the most part, they are unrehearsed as if the show is live. You know, practicing for when we do do a live show. Whenever that is. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So just FYI there. Um... So what you're seeing now is basically what the crew is seeing for the first time. Okay, so here's our main comment of the week from FLD fan William Blake Jennings, WBJ. In the morning. Coming to you, WBJ in the morning. That's a weird looking bird he's got there on his uh, profile. Anyway, <clears throat> he said, I need that shirt. Love the rapid fire news. Today was killer and still killed the British accent. Anyway, who in any state of mind thought of this idea to make a highway to connect Europe to America? Who would ever use that? Who would want to drive through Russia in the middle of winter? And how the hell would you manage the construction of this brilliantly daft concept? No, 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 nope. It isn't happening. Peace out, fast lane. End comment. <laughs> I like the energy in that comment, Max. Yeah. It's good stuff. WBJ. Yeah, he sounded like he maybe was a radio guy. Yeah. You know, in his typing. Right. Uh, WBJ talking today about uh, the uh, Europe to USA <laughs> superhighway coming at you right after it's 10 10 in the morning. All right. The, uh, we love the enthusiasm. Well, first off, that mental shirt I was wearing on Friday, I'm sure you could find it online. It was sent to me by the guys over at Enthusiast Apparel a few years ago. Yeah. Like a while ago. Also, I very much appreciate that you enjoyed Rapid Fire News. Seems to be a fan favorite among our segments. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So thank you for that. Now, regarding the superhighway connecting Europe to the U.S., you asked who would ever use that. I mean, if it was built, people would definitely use it, even if it's just to say they did that drive and the road trip would be epic, right? Yeah. And fun. Just pack a lot of food. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be a lot of rest stops on there. Also, to answer your question, I don't think anyone wants to drive through Russia in the middle of winter, so maybe they would wait until the spring or summer to do so. But honestly, I agree with you. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, maybe eventually way down the line. It is quite the undertaking. The Bering Strait is a no-joke body of water. So to build a tunnel underneath it or bridge over it would be an insane undertaking. That, I think that would then become the most dangerous job over the guy's fishing in it for crab. That's nuts. Like, you see that show, imagine trying to build a bridge over that or under that. It's crazy. But, I mean, it's all hearsay. We'll see, what's ha we'll see what happens. Never say never, right? Right. Never know. So uh, thank you for commenting. Thank everyone for commenting. We do appreciate it. And uh, there you go. Comment of the week. Solid. Boom. All right, FLD, question of the day is, do you think the Lincoln, I'm sorry, do you think the Lincoln Motor Company and the new Lincoln Continental will be known more than just a fleet car. You know, like since it's luxury game will be highly stepped up with this new one. Let us know what you guys think. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D and you can send your own in too. Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you, AK, that's the one. So that's gonna do it for FastLane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great Monday and hey, make sure you tune into the Justin Bieber roast tonight on Comedy Central. Right. It's hilarious from what I am hearing. Heard a couple snippets. Yeah. Oh, can't wait to see him get roasted. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be great. Now, are there going to be curses on that? At a certain time, don't they air the curses? I don't know if they ever do it in comedy center. I think they do at like a certain time, but maybe 10 o'clock might be too early. Well, anyway. Yeah. That's enough. Wow. That was fire. Have a great show. You wearing two watches? <laughs> what? Blooper gold. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got for bloops, Eric? Her? Not enough. Not enough. Durr. Ow, we're living in a fast lane, baby.